Okay, and let's review how to properly weigh a mass using a scale. So step one is we're going to turn the scale on. Give it a second, and then you'll hear a beep, and then you should see three digits appear. You do want to make sure at this point that the grams are set, so you'll see like a little arrow right here pointing to grams. So we want it to be in grams. Now we're going to put what's called a weighing boat on the scale, but as you see, the mass of the weighing boat gets recorded. But we don't want to include the mass of the weighing boat, we just want to measure our sample. So what we're going to do is something called tearing, which is zeroing the scale. And what that's going to do is set it back to zero and that removes the mass of the boat. So now I can proceed with my sample and my scupula, and I'm going to measure out my sample. Now say I wanted to get two grams, I'm just going to slowly add, wait till I get close, and then we're just going to go a little bit at a time and get as close to two grams as we possibly can. Very close, and then just by grain by grain. And then as soon as it gets close to two, I'm just gonna stop. And it may sort of flutter around too. That kind of happens with air currents in the classroom, but there we go, we have a mass of two grams weighed out, and that's two grams of sample, not including the boat. Even if it goes up and down a little bit, don't worry about it. You're close enough. And that's all.